Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. We're out here in one of our local parks in Northern Virginia. In today's video we're going to demonstrate sending and receiving radio email with Chameleon Antenna's new P-Loop version 2.0 antenna. I'm very fortunate today to have a millennial cameraman who says he's going to show me how to make YouTube videos. So my hands will be free to show you what I'm going to set up here. Down here on this stump I have Chameleon Antenna's P-Loop antenna in the black bag. The bag comes with the antenna. And to the left, I have my Amp3.net bug out bag radio with the ASU FT817ND. We're going to set our antenna up here, set up the radio, hook up the laptop, and see if we can't send and receive some email over HF radio with only 5 watts QRP power with Chameleon Antenna's brand new version 2.0 magnetic loop antenna. Let's get it all set up. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we hit the halfway point here on the setup. Before I set up the antenna, I want to cover all the moving parts. I got everything out of the bag here. This is the basic P-Loop antenna. You'll get the tuning box with the antenna mass section, a tripod base, the inner loop. This coax makes the outer loop here. This is the power compensator that allows you to go to 60 watts. We're not going to use this today, but I wanted to show it to you. And this is the coax that comes down from the tuning box into the rear of the radio. So the idea is to set this antenna up over here to the side of the radio, set up the laptop, and see what kind of stations we can connect to on the windlink.org system to see if we can send and receive radio email. I'm not a big voice guy. I like to run data. So that's what this demonstration is going to show. I've got a hardened power systems QRP Ranger as a power supply, the ASU FT817ND, and the SCS Pactor 4 P4 Dragon modem and a microphone that's got a little mud on it. But this is a field video. We're going to get some mud on the equipment. So once again, we'll pause, get this antenna set up, and we'll show you the magic of the P-Loop version 2.0 antenna. Be right back. All right, guys, we got everything up and running. We've done a test connection with the station. The radio's all tuned up. The laptop's connected to the modem over Bluetooth. And the Chameleon P-Loop version 2.0 antenna is all set up and tuned up without the power compensator because we're not using that today. One tip I will say is if you want to use this antenna, use a rock and put it on the base of the tripod. It helps keep it stable. I'll zoom in on that. But so far, we've had no problems making connections. So I'm going to pass the camera to my cameraman and show you this system. Make a link. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're going to start a connection. We'll hit the start button. We're calling out to KC2 HKU. We have our connection now with the P Loop version 2.0 antenna running 5 watts in the woods with a portable station. And we're hitting Pactor 3 speeds, 200 bits per second. Logging into the system now. We have no email waiting. And we just hit 3200 bits per second. That's a nice connection with only 5 watts. So there you have it, a portable station operational in the field with a simple battery pack, a 5 watt radio, and Chameleon Antenna's new P-Loop version 2.0 antenna. Now one thing I'd like to mention is Chameleon Antenna's is having a giveaway or a contest right now that if you own or have used a Chameleon Antenna product before, if you leave a review, that gives you an entry into the contest, and you can actually win one of these P-Loop antennas. All right, before we wrap this video up, my millennial cameraman is still trying to grasp the concept here of actually sending an email from a log in the woods with no political interwebs connected to it. So let's go ahead, we're gonna send an email to his phone, to his Gmail account, because he just doesn't believe the magic of radio email. Got to show these millennials how it's done. We got our connection. 
1,400 bits per second. Setting up our link. Letting the system know. We got an email addressed to a millennial. It's okay, you can laugh. Again, we're doing this with just five watts. All right, we're setting up our status bar now. Sorry about the glare on the monitor. The email is now sent. Now the station that I connected to, and I'll look up where it is later, that'll be the station that puts this email into the internet. Well, we're even getting a little interference right now too. And now we're wrapping up the connection. And in a moment, my cameraman should be getting an email from me. Did you get that email? Check your phone. Not yet. Yeah, give it a minute. Oh, there it is. Oh. All right. We had to do a cut there because my millennial threw in some profanity here. Uh, did you get that email on your phone? I did. All right. Let's show the viewers at home. There you have it, radio email from a stump in the woods with no internet. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, there's the station all packed up, guys. We're bugging out, man. We're getting out of here. Later.